I'm your host, Danny Giesbrecht, and this is Go Edmonton. And today we are getting you excited for a very secret event. It's the first of its kind to hit Edmonton, where great company, great entertainment, and a white wardrobe are all part of the scene. Stay tuned for the details. Very exciting news on the show today. But before that, we learn the story of a local doctor who's working to help others, even after his own life-changing experience. Take a look. A secret event with a white dress code. I promise we're going to reveal all the details on the show today, but before that, it's time for an all-new Bobdale Gloves Big Summer. Okay, it's about time that I introduce the people sitting behind me all dressed in white. In the tuxedo, we have Anthony with the French Alliance of Edmonton. Standing nice and tall here in the white vest is Chef Paul Schufelt with Lux Steakhouse and Bar and the one of our local hosts, Christina. We're going to be chatting with everyone after the break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Once again, we are here at Lux Steakhouse and Bar, getting you excited for a very special event coming to Edmonton where everyone must dress in white. Like the three people joining me at this beautiful table, we have Chef Paul Schufelt with Lux, as well as local host Christina. And from the French Alliance of Edmonton, I have Anthony here. How would you describe this event in one word for all of our viewers? One word that would be elegant. Very elegant. Stay tuned for the details. We're going to reveal what it is coming up in just a moment. But right now, Shaw TV videographer Jen McDonald takes us to another pop-up surprise happening in the city. Moments away from revealing our secret event. Stay tuned for that. But you may have heard that another Cirque du Soleil production is coming to town. And up next, Shaw TV's Tim Dancy reveals that many Edmontonians are working hard behind the scenes. Okay, it's time to reveal our secret event and to help me do so, I am here with Anthony with the French Alliance of Edmonton and Christina, one of our local hosts for the event. And dun dun dun, dun, dun what's happening on July 17th, Anthony? On July 17th, we're going to have the Dîner en Blanc. It's a big, fancy picnic. We're gathering uh, 1,200 people. Right. We're all going to be dressed in white from head to toes. Like you are right Just now. Just like I'm right now. <laughs> and we're going to bring our chair, our table, our picnic basket to have a fancy picnic, a fancy dinner with friends or neighbors, or people we don't know. Okay, so, very cool. Yeah. Are we bringing our own food? Is food provided? How does that work? You have the choice to bring your own food or you can order from a cutter, but uh, the idea is you know, to bring your own food, your own uh, china, everything, no paper, no plastic, everything has to be fancy and classy. Very nice. Now, this isn't an original event. Edmonton, d it didn't start here. It's been going on for quite some time. Where did it originate? So it was 25 years ago when François Pasquier uh, wanted to, uh, to gather his friends in Paris. Uh, he didn't have time to see everybody, so he said, let's go to the park. And we didn't have uh, cell phones, so let's dress in white so we can uh, find each other. And that's how it started. And then over the years, from mouth of mouth, they all, you know, start to have this Dîner en Blanc in many different cities and now in many different countries. 50 countries are celebrating Dîner en Blanc uh, this year in 2014, so plus Edmonton. Very exciting. Christina, with more than 1,200 people coming to this event, how do you keep it secret and how important is it that it is kept a secret until right before the event? Uh, well, the secret location is a huge part of building anticipation for the event, and it also brings everyone together in the sense of mystery. Um, so we have departure locations where everybody is going to be gathering prior to the event, and then we make our major announcement for where it's happening, and then um, transport everybody to the event. And what's the impact on the community here in Edmonton? What does an event like this, and to this magnitude, mean for, for Edmontonians? Um, well, Edmonton's actually experiencing something of a renaissance in festivals, and to be able to attract an event of this international reputation and caliber, I think, speaks to um, our readiness as a city, where we are as a city. All right, wonderful. Stay tuned. More information about Denis Amblin after the break. Welcome back to the show. This is Chef Paul Schufelt with Lux Steakhouse and Bar. And before the break, we revealed that our secret event coming to Edmonton is Dîner en Blanc, hitting the town on July 17th. Now, we still need to chat about the food. And as you can see, it looks very beautiful and delicious. We'll be chatting with the chef in just a moment. But before that, I recently had the opportunity to chat with indie folk rock band The Head and the Heart on their recent trip to Edmonton and meet some of their loyal, dedicated fans. 
Okay, so as promised, we are now speaking with Chef Paul Schufelt of Lux Steakhouse and Bar. Very exciting. Have you ever been in a part of an event like this one, Dinay en Blanc? You know, we've done a lot of different restaurant events and caterings, but this one is so unique. You know, it's uh, it really uh, is one of a kind. It's bringing people together in a creative and fun way. And uh, it's, it's sort of a, a picnic, an elegant picnic in the park. And so we're really excited to be a part of it. I find it interesting that people can both try your food or bring their own picnic basket from home and that they're also bringing their own plates and their own cutlery and their own glassware and then taking it all with them when they leave. So the cleanup job's actually not too bad for you guys. <laughs> yeah, perfect. We got off the hook on that. You know, Again, that's what I think I, I really enjoy about this. You know, uh, uh, Yeah, everyone can have their own unique experience, but then you're all coming together to share this collectively as a group. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, and packing in your own uh, your own supplies and your tools and everything you need to have dinner but and taking it away like you were never there so it's really kind of fun well for me I always want to eat what the chef is serving so let's talk about some of the dishes that we have in front of us because they're just stunning uh, we've got a few samples of what we're going to be serving uh, on the uh, the day of the event we really wanted to kind of think of uh, uh, summery items highlighting fresh and, and, and local and summer ingredients we also wanted to think about you know picnic food but sort of raised to a newer level so here in front of us we've got a beautiful uh, tuna niswa salad. So we've got some ahi tuna, uh, some uh, quail eggs, uh, beautiful Gull Valley tomatoes, uh, some uh, baby potatoes, some haricot vert, really like early summer vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all tossed in a wasabi miso vinaigrette. Uh, here we've got uh, for dessert, we've actually got a beautiful uh, honey lavender yogurt panna cotta. Delicious. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's really kind of nice. Again, panna cotta, it's light, it's a custard, but it's not so heavily, heavy or overwhelming. And then our other entree that you've... Our other entree, we've got a, a just a, a simple dish, again, sort of thinking of chicken in summertime. So we've got a, a chicken breast that's been uh, marinated with Dijon and a little bit of fresh thyme, roasted off, and then it's sitting on a red quinoa tabouli salad and a little bit of uh, uh, preserved lemons on the top. Excellent. Well, I know it is a secret event, but are you at least privy to the location yet? Uh, yes, oh, yes, I know, I know, I know okay. where it is. Wonderful. Well, if you want to register, there's still a little bit of time to do so. Hit up the website on your screen. Chef, thanks so much for your time. My Before pleasure. we go, here is your on-the-go calendar. Okay, if you're really lucky, there still may be a few spots left. Anthony, what is the website for all the information? It's edmonton.dinerblanc.info. All right, bon appetit, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.